Today I'm looking at the Canon SX740HS compact zoom camera. The SX740 is Canon's most recent addition to the SX700 series lineup. Last year I reviewed the SX730HS which is almost identical to the 740HS except for 4K video shooting capabilities which is new to the 740. And talking about 4K video I'll tell you more about the camera's 4K performance a little later in this video and we'll talk about how it performs as a vlogging camera. On the outside though the 740 is almost identical to the older 730 with an all metal body construction, a 40x retractable zoom lens which makes it easy to carry around, and a nicely designed grip which makes it very pleasant to use. All the buttons on top are also intuitively laid out and have a nice solid feel to them. They don't feel plasticky or cheap. I especially like the placement and feel of this mode dial which makes it really easy to switch shooting modes. The shutter button also has the zoom toggle built in, like most point and shoot cameras, and the lens extends and retracts very smoothly. It also has a microphone on top which is really helpful if you plan to use it as a vlogging camera since it doesn't have a mic jack for an external mic. More about the vlogging performance in a minute. The camera also has a pop-up flash tucked into the top. Very helpful as you'll notice when I test it in low light. Most of the rear surface is covered by this extremely sharp 3 inch LCD which both tilts and flips up again making it perfect for vlogs and selfies. The screen is actually a really nice one. It's bright enough to use outdoors and the colors all look very natural. And since it tilts to various angles, you can take pictures of objects on the ground without getting on your knees. The menus and options are laid out in typical Canon fashion, which is a really good thing, in case you're wondering. Everything is simple, intuitive, and easy to find. All the other buttons are also laid out almost exactly where you'd expect to find them. And while it doesn't have a mic jack, it does have a micro USB port and a micro HDMI port on the side. It uses Canon's NB13 battery, which lives in this compartment on the bottom, along with the SD card. Now it's important to remember that since this camera shoots 4K video, you want to make sure you buy a card that's fast enough to handle 4K. I'll leave a link to one I recommend right below the video in case you're looking to buy one. And if you're wondering, you can also mount the camera to any standard tripod or gimbal using the quarter 20 mount on the bottom. So the big question though is how does it perform? The SX740 takes 20 megapixel pictures and stores them in the JPEG format. For all my test shots, I had the camera in the automatic mode which is what most beginners will use. And as you can see in typical Canon fashion, the pictures are nice and sharp, well exposed, and most importantly, the colors look absolutely amazing. They're really nice looking pictures for a camera at this price. I also love the burst mode on this camera, which allows you to take continuous shots and create nice time-lapse videos like these. Now due to its small half inch sensor, this isn't exactly a very good camera for low light shots as you can see here. However, with the flash turned on, you can get usable shots if you absolutely need to. When it came to video, the camera again shot really pleasing footage that was sharp and well exposed, especially in the 1080p mode. Yes, you heard that right, 1080p. I actually seem to prefer the 1080p full HD footage to the soft 4K footage. So if you're looking for a good 4K camera, there are definitely better options out there, which I'll talk about soon. I do, however, like the 40x zoom capabilities of the camera, which you can see here. Another minor detail to note is that it doesn't shoot 4K video in the regular automatic mode. You'll have to switch to the movie mode to get 4K. And this is how it performs as a vlogging camera. I currently have it handheld in the 4K mode, so it's shooting 4K video. And I especially like the focus system, which seems to be tracking me pretty well. And this is really important, especially if you're on the go. Is this the best vlogging camera that you can buy? Probably not. If you're getting started on YouTube and don't have a whole lot of money to spend, this is a really good option. Now you're probably wondering, I already have a smartphone like my iPhone 8 here, which has a really nice camera. Is the 740 better than my smartphone? And the answer really depends on what you plan to use it for. If you really need a good camera that you have access to all the time, your smartphone will work perfectly. However, if you need the 40x zoom or need a flip screen to vlog, the 740 is probably a better choice. So should you buy the SX740? Well, that all depends on what you plan to use it for. If you're just looking for a portable point and shoot zoom camera that takes amazing pictures, the SX740HS is a great option. In fact, if you can get the older SX730 for a decent discount, 
I would actually recommend that camera instead for taking stills. It'll save you some money and it'll take pictures that are just as good as the 740. However, if you mostly want to shoot 4K video, I really can't recommend the Canon SX740. The 4K video is just a bit too soft and isn't a huge improvement over the 1080p. Instead, I recommend getting the Panasonic ZS70, which is a really good camera for 4K and costs about the same as this one. I'll leave links to all three of these cameras below in case you're looking to buy one. If you own one of these, please tell us about your experience in the comments below. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.